Hello, so today I'm reviewing Gravity, and the storyline of Gravity is a medical engineer and astronaut work together to survive after an accident leaves him adrift in space. So this film is directed by Alfonso Cuaron, who has also directed Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, and one of my favourite films, Children of Men. This film also stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney as the two main people. Third astronaut on IMDb hasn't even got a name. No one actually knows who played that third astronaut, really. Probably the makers of the film do, but I don't know who played it, because you didn't uh, just... Just, yeah, I don't know who played it, so well done on IMDb for not saying who the third astronaut was, and I even really giving them a name. So, Gravity is one of my most anticipated films of this year, it was one of my most anticipated films of this year, and it was showing at London Film Festival, I queued up for about two hours because this screening was sold out, but I really wanted to get a ticket because I was stupid and slept on tickets and missed them, so they were sold out online, so I queued up for quite a bit and did get a ticket, cost me quite a bit, but it was worth it because this is definitely one of the best films I have seen this year, Gravity is is just excellent from start to finish. This is just how special effects can actually really benefit on a film and make a film just incredible. These special effects are some of the most amazing special effects I've ever seen on this film. Sandra Bullock just does the whole film for you here. She sells it. She just does the whole film. She does everything brilliant in this film. Some of the best acting I've ever seen from her. And George Clooney. George Clooney brings sort of the comedy elements of parts of this film. Now, yes, being adrift in space isn't really to comedy because it's one of the most frightening things that could ever ever happen to you but George Cooney brings comedy to this and it's just excellent some of the parts he says I, a lot of the audience members were laughing at points when he said some excellent things Gravity is just a film that had me on the edge of my seat the whole way through I never like to say that because saying you're on the edge of your seat through a film may seem a bit like overpowering or something or like oh is it really that like crazy and stuff yes this film there's points where just the cinematography is incredible and you are just sucked right into the film because you just don't know what's going to happen to this person and you just really just like are hoping this person's going to get out and survive and everything's going to be good for them. I am doing a spoiler free review here. I don't want to go into details really of the film because I just feel like if I went into details it would spoil the whole film. There's many things to this film where if I just said it I'd be like oh, I've spoiled the film for you now. I'm just going to say just the set pieces, excellent for this, the cinematography, just beautiful. There's one part where I was just like, wow, that is really good. They did something with gravity in space, and it was just great. Like, it really worked. It looked beautiful. The whole film looks beautiful as you're looking down on Earth and things, and you're seeing all these space stations and everything, and just going about space. They make space look like a beautiful place, but also absolutely terrifying, because Sandra Bullock's character is adrift in space and George Clooney is like about and like trying to help her and things and it's just this film is crazy and I just absolutely loved it it was just one of the best films I've seen in years really like Children of Men was an excellent film and the director has upped his game even more and shown that he is a brilliant director Alfonso Cuaron is just a brilliant director and I'm really excited to see what he does next because Wow, he knows how to direct a film, he knows how to keep the, the audience intact in the film, just like want to be keep on watching the whole way through. This film people could be like, oh it's someone adrift in space, it's going to be really boring. Nope, not a boring moment to this film. I had fun with this film and also found it absolutely frightening with her being in space, just not knowing what was going to happen next. But it was one of the best cinema experiences I have ever had in my life and I didn't expect that. I'm going to say, if you're going to see this film, definitely do go and see it in IMAX when it comes out because the 3D actually works on parts of this film and actually looks really great, which I wasn't expecting because 3D really has sucked in films recently, but they did it well with this. So, I say you can see it in 2D or 3D because this film looks great no matter what. So, Gravity, 10 out of 10 from me, just absolutely brilliant. Sonny Brooke is excellent at acting in this. She just does everything brilliant with this film. You can see the fear of her being in space and just the upset. How we, And she just does it well. She sells her character well and just does everything. And George Clooney is just brilliant as his astronaut as well. This whole film is excellent. And for, like, two actors or three actors being in it, it just works and everything. And just, yeah, if you want to become an astronaut this might stop you from wanting to become an astronaut because it's frightening but definitely definitely when gravity comes out go and see it. it comes out in november in the uk it's already out in america so if you haven't seen it and you live in america go out and see it right away because if you don't go and see it then you're an idiot so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this review and i shall see you all again very soon if you've seen gravity stay down there if you enjoyed it or if you're going to see gravity are you excited for it and yeah what's your favorite space film that's the question i never normally ask questions for videos but i think this is one of my new favorite space films it's probably yeah
had elements of like 2001 and Space Odyssey at points and Alien as well. It's just like, whoa. I know there's not the Alien in there, but you know, had the elements at that points, which just was brilliant. So yeah, go and see Gravity. That's all I have to say, because if you don't go and see it, then you're missing out completely. Goodbye.